let's talk about Oren and Orson West. They went missing from their California city, California home from their backyard. And let's look, because I'm seeing some chatter online on Facebook, and it says that basically, or it's implying that the adoptive mom also went out to help in the search when the adoptive dad left. But I also, more importantly, want to show where AV News goes out to the house and shows the gate, confirms it is not self-closing like the previous owner had stated. And he also is in that um, area around the same time that the boys went missing. And so just interesting to look at that area. And there's a motion sensor light that's on the house. And the, it appears to be a camera in the window because you see a light blinking. But I'm going to show you that footage from AV News crew. So if you want to head to their Facebook page, they're, they're great to follow. They have a lot of good information because they're out there. He's out there in that neighborhood actively searching and, you know, bringing this news to us. But let's have a listen and you'll see by the words adoptive dad says, he uses I, I, you know, during pretty much the whole interview was in regards to searching for the boys. So let's have a listen. Throwing wood, bringing it inside the house. My wife's inside, she was actually wrapping gifts, so we thought it was a good idea that they, that our youngest two go outside and play with chalk on the back patio. Do not let them go on the dirt in the backyard. We keep them close. So was playing with chalk, and I came to the house, I saw them there. I went in the house, I came back out, I didn't see them yet. I immediately went back in, asked my wife, did you see the boys? She said, no, they should be outside playing with chalk. I said, well, I didn't see them. So I came back outside and I started searching my backyard. I searched the whole thing. I realized that I left the gate open and I panicked, came inside the house, searched the house near my wife. Once that had not pan out, I got in the van, I looked down the street in both directions, it was getting dark, getting cold, and I got in the van and I hit a bunch of corners. I went down this street, I turned my light on, I searched, I searched, I called their names. I talked to a gentleman on the street on the other side over there, he didn't see anything. So then I came home and I told my wife, we need to call the cops. Right, it's getting dark and I need help, we gotta get going. So I called the cops, the cops came. First thing they did was tell us to stay in the house so they can get a hold of us. And they had us just sitting there and we wanted to keep searching. But everybody came out in droves and I was Okay, and so from what he's saying, he went out to search. So what was adoptive mom doing at this point? You know, me personally, I would have been out in the neighborhood running around door to door screaming for my children. No doubt about it. So I'm curious, you know, to the neighbors, to, to people in that area, did you guys see her outside? Did she go door to door? Because it's very odd to me, in my opinion, that a mom wouldn't do that. If you've got two missing children, you know, of course, time is of essence. So while he's out driving the neighborhood, what was she doing and why wait to call the police? If you walk out and you do not see them anywhere, why did she not call the police instead of waiting for him to come back knowing they couldn't have gotten that far? He even said that in the interview. But nonetheless, you know, just little things like this, it's the reason why, you know, I, I'm looking at the case the way I am. It's just not making sense. There's so much not making sense. But let's have a listen at um, AV News and the gate and look at the area. The owner, the old owner of this home was actually on a podcast earlier. Well, hold on, let me get around here. They were on a, she was on a podcast earlier where she stated the gates 
had an automatic closure. Well, that gate right there may have an automatic closure. <clears throat> but the gates where the adoptive parents stated the children came out of, they do not have an automatic closure. This is a new thing that was dropped off today. This just came in in the last few hours. But when I heard that the gates had automatic closures and the other information that was given out by the individual that sold the house is kind of interesting. Oh, wow, look. So that's interesting. You see that, folks? So... That means if the kids would have came out through this way, they would have kicked on that automatic light also. Because this is approximately the time that he said the kids went missing from here. And these gates right here definitely do not have automatic closures on them. They are 100% manual. Those are 100% manual closed gates. But, this is about the time that he said that the boys disappeared. Okay? Between 4.30 and 5. And it's what, 5.20 right now? So, if the boys disappeared at this time, and you were out here in this field at this time of day, how could you not see them? I don't even have my glasses on, and I wear glasses for reading or distance, and I could see. I could see the kid that was just walked riding by over by that house right there a minute ago. So, it makes no sense. Really makes no sense whatsoever. Okay? The story doesn't make sense. You can see the blinking light in that window right there. Okay, I'll stop so it stays in focus. You can see the blinking light right there. Okay. That is a camera that faces this direction. Okay, it faces this direction. He said he was out here getting firewood. And the kids went missing about this time. Okay, so, as you can see, up the street there, you can see the people over there behind that van. It's almost 5.30 at night. He said they went missing between 4.30 and 5. <coughs> okay, and as you saw, those lights just kicked on again to light up the field because I walked by. So there's sensors on those right there, and you can see this field almost like daylight if you look around I'm gonna walk back okay to where I'm about a football field away from that gate okay and I can still see the gate You can look around <clears throat> and supposedly you couldn't see to the end of the street. Well, I can see the end of the street. I can see the end of the street down there. You can see all the people right there next to the van. Now, you see the lights are off on that house again. <clears throat> 
So, how did they really sneak out of this area? It makes no sense <clears throat> at all. And little boys. And I agree with him. It makes no sense at all. And also, if you remember at the beginning, he said that the previous owner had stated some interesting things. And what he's referring to, she also mentioned that in the back, where that standalone garage is, the detached garage, that there's one or two hidden areas to where she said she's five five I think or five seven 130 pounds and she could fit up in that area so I guess in the ceiling so you know pretty interesting and she from yesterday she uh, I'm taking it she had not went to the police with this information but surely they found these hidden areas because it was a grow house prior so, um, you know, I'm hoping that area she's referring to has been checked. But back to the video that you just watched. Again, interesting that they've got the motion light. We're seeing around the time of day that the boys went missing. And also another interesting thing is that camera that we saw in the house in that window but granted, it could have been put there afterwards because I'm not certain why law enforcement would not have taken that considering the situation. So, you know, I don't know if it's something that was recently installed or if it was in fact there when the boys allegedly wandered off. But also at that age, even if he hadn't have left the gate open, would they not have been able to reach and open it anyway? It just, you know, that that's another question. If it wasn't locked, those handles look pretty low, so I would think they could open it. But my, my main thing here is just to get the correct information out. AV News crew went out there. They're saying it is not a self-closing gate. It does not have that mechanism on it that makes it self-close. He 100% verified that it's manual, so I wanted to get that information out. And also just curiosity as far as what the adoptive mom was doing while the dad was out searching for the little boys. And I'm questioning why were the police not called when he left to search? Because again, as he said, they couldn't have got far. So therefore, why were the cops not called if she stayed home? She should have, in my opinion, I know I would have been out there searching, but why were the cops not called then as he was out there driving? And he says, at one point, I turned my light on. So I don't know if he's talking about a flashlight, the lights on the van. I don't know. That was kind of ironic that he would mention, I turned my light on. So, but let me know what you guys think. I just, you know, these these little things are what adds to my suspicion that the parents or ad adoptive parents could be involved with, you know, what happened to these boys. But let me know what you guys think.